Welcome to the first race face driver update for the 2019 racing season. It's great to be back and we will be bringing you updates on a weekly basis for the rest of the 2019 season. Our current race face driver lineup includes Sheldon Creed, Anthony Alfredo, Sam Mayer, Jesse Love, Adam Limke, Minnie Tyrell, and Brian Henderson. And our race face next drivers are Joe Valento, Colby Sokol, Bryce Bizanson, Justice Sokol, Cassidy Hines, Joey East, Jake Bowman, and Jaden Walbridge. These drivers will compete in a total of over 400 races throughout the year. So as you can see, we're going to be very busy. So let's get started with the late model stock cars tour that had its season opener at Southern National Speedway Park in Kinley, North Carolina for the Solid Rock 300 that featured two 150 lap races, one for the late model stocks and one for the super late models. This is where we find race face drivers Minnie Tyrell and Adam Lemke, both of which were selected to the Cars Tour Touring 12 earlier this year. Let's first check in on Adam Lemke. He was also selected as one of six drivers earlier this year to participate in the Driver's Edge Development Program presented by Chevrolet. Adam was making both his East Coast and his Car Tour debut but his weekend was over before it got started. During Friday's practice session, Adam was on the track when it began to rain. The number 74 of Ronald Hill was trying to blend in with cars already on the track heading into turn three when he spun in front of Adam and Adam hit Hill at full speed. As you can see, the damage was severe enough to eliminate him from further competition. The team used a provisional to start the race shotgun on the field, made one lap for points, and put the number 98 Slick Products Junior Motorsports Chevrolet on the trailer. Next up for Adam and his Junior Motorsports team is this coming Saturday when Adam will make his first appearance at famed Hickory Motor Speedway in a NASCAR Wheelin' All-American Series race. Now, Minnie Tyrell was also competing this weekend in the Cars Tour. He had great practice sessions on both Thursday and Friday in his Friends of Jackman Foundation, Castrol Edge No. 81 Chevrolet, prepared by Crew Chief Brandon Butler. Minnie qualified 18th on Saturday and was on his way into the top 10 before contact with another car caused front-end damage that resulted in an unscheduled pit stop Many finished the race in 19th. The race was won by Brandon Pierce with a last lap bump and run over junior motorsports driver Josh Berry. Let's now move out west to Madeira Speedway, where we find three of the race face next drivers, Jaden Walbridge, Jake Bowman, and Joey East, all competing in the 5150 Junior Late Model Series season opener. Now, Jaden was making his debut but suffered some mechanical issues that actually started in qualifying and carried over to the race, eventually ending his night early. Up next for Jaden, junior late models on April the 6th. Jake Bowman was also making his first start for Nate Clower Motorsports in his number 38 and had a solid performance bringing home a sixth place finish in a 20 car field that saw the race shortened due to rain. Jake will be back behind the wheel again on April 6th at Madeira Speedway. Now, Joey E. started the weekend by qualifying his number 88 California Ag Solution Richwood Meat Company Toyota second, but had to start fourth due to the invert. But he quickly raced his way to the front and took the lead and maintained the lead for most of the race. On a late race restart, he got passed by Tanner Reif and ended up with a second place finish. Up next for Joey, his first race in the Pro Late Model and Speed 2 Midgets this weekend at Madeira Speedway, where Joey will start his championship run for the Triple Crown that includes the dirt, the pavement, and overall titles for that USAC title. Good luck, Joey. Staying out west in Tulare, California, we find Toyota Racing Development driver Jesse Love making his third wing sprint car start of his career 
and is first in the King of Thunder 360 Sprint Car Series at Thunder Bowl Raceway in his Van Dyne Motorsports number 5H. The weekend was hampered by rain that resulted in very little practice time. Jesse was forced to run the B main in search of an A main starting. He won that B main and finished 13 in the A main feature. Up next for Jesse will be the Nut Up Pro Late Models and Midgets at Madera Speedway this weekend and U.S. Legend Cars at Sonoma on Sunday. Let's now move down to the duel in the desert where we find next driver Cassidy Hines competing in three different classes, unrestricted animal, heavy 160, and heavy world formula. On day one, Cassidy had issues with the motor in her heavy 160 quarter midget and parked that car for the rest of the weekend, but brought home a second place in unrestricted animal and a win in heavy world formula in the A mains. On day two, she reversed day one's A main results by finishing second in heavy world formula and winning unrestricted animal. Up next for Cassidy, 600 micro sprints at El Paso County Raceway on April 27th. Well, that's it for this week's Race Face Driver updates. We'll have plenty of action to report on next week. You can always stay up to speed at raceface.tv with our on-demand features. Make sure to like our Facebook page at Race Face TV. And as always, thanks for tuning in and make sure to go out and support local racing in your communities. We will see all of you back here next week. Have a great race weekend.